Dr. James Naismith and I invented the game of basketball. Although I invented the game of basketball, I wasn't very smart growing up. That wasn't my only problem through my childhood, though. Two weeks before my ninth birthday, my mother and father died of typhoid fever, and I had to go live with my grandma. And later, my grandma died, and later my grandma died, and I had to go live with my uncle. While I was with my uncle, I got C's and D's in elementary school and in high school, so I had to drop out. But later, I re-enrolled and graduated at the top of the class in both high school and college. In high school and college, though, I was in athletics. I moved on to YMCA training school, where I also went to Kansas Medical School. I invented the game of basketball when I was a teacher of physical education at the YMCA training school. I was inspired to invent the game of basketball by remembering a kid's game called Duck on a Rock, where you would put a rock on top of a boulder and you would throw other rocks and try to knock it off. Also, basketball was invented for a sport to play in the cold winter months, and for a sport that required skill and not just brute strength. The first game of basketball used two peach baskets as goals, and only one point was scored. After that, I coached at Kansas, but ironically, according to what I've seen now, is that I'm the only coach at Kansas with a losing record. But I can't believe how far basketball has come. There is dribbling, that certainly wasn't my idea. I only had passing in my games. And there are dunks with all these big hot shot fancy players getting above the rim. Back in the first game, it was just throw it up and hope it goes in. Anyway, I have to go. I think they're making a new rule about having three teams playing at one time. I mean, come on, really, we have enough rules as it is.